given the state of the world and that we're all mostly at home now, online shopping has become even bigger than it was before. But how do you shop online for your wedding? Today we're talking about shopping online and how to do it for your wedding and how to make it work for you. Hi there, I'm Jamie Chang, your destination wedding planning guru and designer of joy at Mango Me's Events, the creator of Passport to Joy, the step-by-step -step online wedding planning course for couples, and the founder of Let's I Do This, intimate and virtual weddings in the San Francisco Bay Area. And I share real and honest and useful wedding planning tips, tricks, and advice you can use to help make planning your wedding easier and more joyful so you can create a wedding you love. Because let's face it, wedding planning can be hard super stressful and sometimes downright painful and nobody wants that. So we're bringing the joy back to wedding planning. Are you ready? Let's do this. All right, now we've all shopped online before, right? We all have. You've probably shopped online maybe this week or even today already. And it's just, it's a part of our normal lives, right? Especially now. And you know, we get everything from groceries to furniture to clothes, right? Online. But when it comes to your wedding specifically, you know, online shopping can feel a little weird. It can be almost feel a little wrong somehow. You know, how do you buy an engagement ring online? How do you buy a wedding dress online? How do you pick out a wedding venue or wedding decor online? Because in some of these instances, you know, you're really picking something out for life. You know, a wedding ring or engagement ring is forever. And what you wear, you know, is not only going to affect how you feel on this really special day, but, you know, be in all your photos that you keep forever. So how do you pick something that is, you know, that big a deal online? It sounds kind of crazy, doesn't it? Just like a little nuts because we all know there's nothing that beats you know touching and feeling and seeing and you know trying something on in person there's just nothing that compares to that you know but when in-person shopping you know isn't the safest activity in the world online shopping really is the answer you know, luckily, stores and brands and vendors have really made this a lot easier, which means that while shopping online might not be your first choice when it comes to your wedding, it's actually a really good second choice. And we've got some tips today to help you make, you know, shopping online easier and better and just smarter so that you can find a way to make it work for you and for your wedding. So tip number one is pictures are going to be your absolute best friend. You know, not all online shopping is created equal. And so when you're shopping for your wedding, you know, you want to be looking at places that have just tons of photos to share. When it comes to shopping online, you know, there's almost no such thing as too many photos. There just kind of really isn't. You want lots and lots of photos from different angles so that you can understand what you're looking at in a 2D way in the best way possible. So if we're talking about attire, for example, you know, you want to see different angles of the dress or the suit or whatever and different sizes and it what it looks like on different types of models. You, if we're talking about, you know, something like rings, you know, you want to see it on a hand, an actual hand or many hands, you know, from different angles. If we're talking about a venue, you want to see that entire space, you know, from multiple vantage points, perhaps both empty and filled for an event. If we're talking about something like rentals, you know, you're going to want to see each item from different angles and paired, you know, with other items from, you know, in different sort of spaces and at different types of events. You know, pictures and tons of them will really help you to visualize just what you're shopping for. And then you can really kind of imagine, you know, what it will look like on your body, what it will look like on the table, what it will look like on your wedding day. And that visualization just really helps figure out whether you like it or not. It helps you to make that decision. Okay, that's tip number one. Tip number two is to get all the info. Now, pictures, while great, can only get you really so far. 
because you also need to understand other things like sizing or weight or dimensions or other details. So besides, you know, looking for options with lots of photos, you also want to be looking at options and companies that have all the info you want or even could need. So if we go back to our examples, right, if we're talking about attire, you know, you want to understand, you know, what sizes perhaps that the models are wearing and maybe a fit guide so you understand sort of how it fits and maybe the types of bodies it's good for. If we're talking about rings, you know, you might want to try a fitting ring first before you actually pick an actual ring. If we're talking about a venue, you know, you want to know maybe how many people can fit in this space with a good sized dance floor. If we're talking about rentals, you know, you want to know the dimensions of items and maybe put material types. In addition to really good info, you also want to be working with a company with good policies, whether that's a return policy, a cancellation policy, or an adjustment policy. Because if it doesn't work out for some reason, you know, once you actually see it in person, you want to be able to make that adjustment if needed. All right, tip number three, you want to get some personalized help. Now, good photos, info, and policies will give you most of what you need in order to make a decision you feel, you know, pretty good about. But if you want more, if you want to be really sure, getting personalized help will help you with this. Quick side note here. In terms of vendors, you know, you will also need to obviously vet them, read reviews, have that one-on-one -on -one conversation. You know, don't just rely on what we're talking about right now in this online shopping process to choose your vendors necessarily. You still need to go kind of one step further with that. But once again, if you have photos and info and policies, that really will get you most of the way. But if you want to feel really good, once again, about your decision, you're going to want to get some personalized help. Now this can take different forms, just depending on kind of what we're talking about and what you're shopping for. So let's go back to our examples again, okay? So let's say you're thinking about attire, dresses, suits, and rings. You know, you could get a virtual stylist to help you either, you know, show you different options or do really a, like kind of a virtual consultation to help match you with the right dress or the right ring. You could um, have a venue walk you through the space via like live video. So like something like FaceTime, you know, where they can literally tour you through the space and show you around and answer questions. If we're talking about something like a rental company, you know, they could do a live virtual consultation where maybe they set up your hypothetical table and kind of show you what it looks like and see how you feel and then swap things out, you know, not in person, but sort of in person virtually as it's happening. Now, no matter sort of what form this personalized help takes, you know, this extra step should really help put you at ease and just make your decision that much easier to make. Okay, that's tip one, two, three, and this is tip four, which is also going to be the last but not the least and also the most obvious tip, but you want to work with companies that have all these elements in place. Now they don't necessarily need to have all of them in place, but having a majority will just really help ensure that you feel really good about your decision. Because you know, that's the hardest part really about shopping online. It's that you just don't know if you're making a good decision because you just can't see it in person, right? You can't feel it, you can't touch it, you can't, experience it in person but as we said before as well you know online shopping is not created equal so having these elements and using these tips really help make your online shopping easier better and just smarter and you really can make it work for you and your wedding even though it might seem a little strange it really can work well it's just a matter of utilizing these elements and finding the companies that will help you in the best way possible from an online and virtual standpoint. Okay? If you enjoyed today's video, please like it. Give us some thumbs up. You can check out our other wedding planning videos for even more tips, including a video we recently did about how to plan your wedding virtually.
that will definitely help you. And make sure you hit subscribe so you get access to all our new videos. And if you're looking for help through the entire wedding planning process, please check out Passport to Joy. You can find all the links below. Because you deserve to enjoy your engagement, no matter what your budget is, and even in the middle of a pandemic. Thanks so much for being here, and I'll see you next time. Bye!